pimpin', baby. Spin pimpin', What's up, everybody? This your boy K Ray back at you one more time. I'll back at you again. What I'm gonna do today is prepare um, Boston butt pork shoulder. I am going to cook it Texas style, but I'm going to cook it uh, to where it could be sliced, uh, not pulled. There's a couple of dishes that I can, uh, I think I can create and make from that that I have in mind that I want to do. And um, I'm just kind of inspired by doing it, you know, by a couple of my um, barbecue brothers, uh, T. Matt over at TNT Barbecue and Kirby over at Kirby Q. Uh, you know, they did a couple of these videos on um, on the slice butts and uh, kind of bring back a, a few memories for me because like when I was first introduced to the Boston butt, that's all I knew how to do was uh, cook it. It's about 170 degrees, pull it off and slice it. Um, didn't know anything about pulled pork. So um, I'm gonna just take a break from, from the pulled pork Go back to sliced and um, you know just do a couple of things with it I'll make a couple of videos on those couple of things that I do with it so of course I'm just using my um, simple rub coarse ground black pepper coarse kosher salt uh, my pork rub and olive oil so that's all I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna take the butt out, get it washed up, uh, prepare it, season it down. I'm not gonna do any injection or nothing like that. And um, all I'm gonna do is spritz. And I'll be spritzing with apple juice and apple cider vinegar. So let me get started. I'm gonna get this thing prepped and ready to go. And I'll get back with you in a little bit later. All right, everybody, I'm back. As you can see, I got the Boston butt all season and uh, ready to go. So I already got my pit up to temp. I'm gonna put it on now, let it run, see what we come up with. And on this butt, I did mention that I'm doing a slice, but um, um, I'm going to keep the bone in mind, you know, I'm not going to do the uh, Arthur Bryant style like everybody else is doing, you know, it's not nothing wrong with that. Um, but I just personally, I like to keep the bone in because I think it tends to, to give the meat more flavor during the cook process. So that's what I'm looking for, you know, a presentation and taste, you know, that's just my experience. So. Um, we'll see how it come out. You know, once it come out, you know, I can pretty much slice around the bone and get the slices of meat, you know, that I want out of it to do what I have to do with it. So, um, it's all ready to go. I'm gonna put it on the pit and I will be getting back with you all later. All right, everybody. I got, um, uh, the butt on just put it on so this is what I'm be using today my master forge uh, charcoal vertical smoker um, I did a video on it with the modifications uh, that I did and it's cooking uh, really well so what I'm doing today is I'm cooking with um, hickory wood hickory wood chunks and raw oak uh, charcoals. So everything's on getting started. I'm gonna let it roll for about a couple hours and uh, we'll get back and check the product later. All right, everybody, I'm back. Like an hour and 59 minutes into the cook. The pit holding temp pretty good so I think the little modifications done to it is holding up pretty well let's open up and see what we got right 
Got the butt going. Thought I was gonna have to spritz, but it's holding, still holding moisture pretty good. So I just wait to do spritz, to spritz it. So, um, looking pretty good. So I'm gonna put this top back on, let it roll a little bit longer. And uh, get back with you in a little bit later. All right, everybody, I am back, and we are four hours and one minute into this cook, or well, four hours and two minutes now. So as you can see, my uh, pit is holding pretty good, uh, holding temp pretty good. Got an internal temperature on my meat on the butt at 152. So that's not really too bad, um, four hours into the cook. So let's open up and see what we got here. All right, butt coming along pretty good. Still retaining pretty good moisture. Spritz at one time. it. Seems like we got a nice little bark coming on now. So I'm going to let it roll. If it keep doing what it's doing and don't stall too bad, um, should have it done in a couple hours. So I'll get back with you later. Alright everybody, I'm back. A little bit over five hours into the cook. Pit still holding temp pretty good. Internal temp on the butt is 160. Moving right along. We can see what we got here. Oh yeah. She's looking pretty good. Nice bark. Still retaining moisture pretty good. I think I hit it with the spritz one more time. And uh, that should take me on in. Alrighty, later. All right, everybody, I am back and I am all done. So, looks like it came out pretty good. Got a nice color, nice bulk to it. Real juicy around that bone. See that juice coming out of there? Oh, yeah, it's gonna be some pretty good eating. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, wrap it, let it sit, um, and I may uh, cut into it in a few hours, just see how it uh, see how everything came out on the inside. So this is my finished product for now and um, I'll be getting back with you with some slices later. All right everybody, this is your boy K-Ray. Back at you with my finished product. Um, as you can see, I, I got the, the pork butt. I let it uh, rest for probably about two hours. Um, already cut some, some slices off of it take a look at the at the butt it has a nice little smoke ring around it um, about all I can expect to get out of it with the type of pit that I cooked on today but it has some really really nice bark on it came out good um, still good and juicy Just squeeze it see the juice is coming out of it looks really good tastes good as well these are some of the slices that I got out, thin slices, probably about an eighth of an inch. Um, and actually I was able to get the bone out of it as well um, um, after cooking it. So uh, that's the first time I've done that and didn't come out too bad. I mean, this is the side the bone came out of. It's not really hacked up too bad. So I was able to cook it with the bone in 
get the flavor from the bone that I wanted, uh, deboned it after it was cooked, and um, I think it came out pretty good. So my total cook time was like about six and a half hours. Took it off about at 170 degrees and um, let it rest for a couple of hours. So um, that's it. About to let me know what you think about it. Um, if you like it, let me know. So um, appreciate everybody stopping by. Appreciate everybody that's been giving me positive comments. And also um, everybody that has subscribed uh, to my channel. And again, this is uh, my um, pork butt, um, sliced pork butt, um, debone after it's cooked. So appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. What's up everybody? This is your boy K Ray. And um I'm back with this segment of the video um to show you the day after on the uh the Boston butt that I cooked uh for slices bone in. I just wanted to show the side. This is the side that I took the bone out of. And what I did, I cut a few slices off just to show everybody how the slices look. I mean the slices came out good. I just cut them in half. They did have like a little hole in the middle of it, but I still cut them half and half, and these are pretty uh, nice looking pieces. I mean, you can still fix sandwiches, whatever you want to do uh, with those. And so the rest of the butt is uh, pretty much intact, and this is the only little opening on the butt right here, and that's the other side. So, you know. Um, you know, my point is, is, you know, you don't have to go through all that uh, deboning before uh, you cook the pork, but to get good slices out of it. I mean, you got to debone it, then tie it back up when you only have like a small section of this particular butt that I have. You, it may be something that's bigger with a bigger bone, but, you know, I'm just trying to put a little information out there as far as my experience go. So, um, that's it. Um. And I'll just uh, see y'all with my next video later.